Selling websites on Etsy made it simple and even your kids can do it. This YouTube channel discusses various tutorials about Canva and helps you earn money with Canva so make sure you give thumbs up, comments, and subscribe to this channel because thumbs up, comments, and subscribe are free guys. The first thing we need to do is go to Etsy.com to research what kind of website has a lot of buyers. You can just type in the search field with the keyword Canva website, but you can also search for it with website keywords only. However, when using only website keywords, there is a possibility that a website that wasn't created in Canva will appear too. But it doesn't matter because you can use it as research material because we can find out what a good website design looks like. Okay, this is the result when we use the keyword Canva website. If we look closely, there are several stores that have sales that are quite interesting and we can observe them. There are three stores that have almost the same sales, which is around 20,000 sales, and this in my opinion can be an opportunity for all of you. If you are confused about what to sell on Etsy, then this can be a solution for those of you who are still confused and you can get additional income by creating a website like this. For a more in-depth analysis, you can open the three stores and you can see what products and what bundles you can make to sell on this website. For example, you can add a social media template to sell the website you created, so you can have your own uniqueness when selling on Etsy.com. Let's discuss the tutorial on how to make a website that you can sell on Etsy so you can earn extra income. First you open Canva, and in the search field just type website then there will be lots of template choices that you can use. And actually you can also select a blank canvas by clicking on the create a design button which is in the top right corner. So everything can be made from scratch, and that's okay too because it depends on whether you prefer to build it from scratch or use a template. But there are some things that you can use as a guide in making templates that can be sold on Etsy, such as you can't sell templates from Canva without any changes at all. And for details you can check the regulations regarding the license agreement in Canva. So in this tutorial we're just using templates to make it quicker when we design, and if I design from scratch the videos would be too long. You first select the template you want to use, because the niche in the Etsy shop was a real estate agent, so I will make something like that too. I will choose this template because I think it is quite interesting and you can choose the one that you think is most interesting and according to the niche you are working on. After I chose this template, the next step is to change the various elements that are here according to your needs. Now we adjust what pages we need, if based on the products in Etsy there were 6 to 7 pages in the product. We can add the pages you want to add by hovering your mouse to the left and various buttons will appear from adding new pages to duplicates and so on. Let's just equate it with the Etsy product because this is just a tutorial, so on the first page there is an introduction from the website owner, client testimonials, offers that clients can get, recent listings, pages that contain social media that can be owned. Let's create those pages on the website we are creating at the moment, if we see the second page is different and we need to change the order of the pages. We have changed this page because this page functions as a page that contains a house for sale or the latest listing page and will turn this page frame into a box so that the house being sold is more clearly visible. You first click on the element menu and you type in the search field with the keyword frame, then you will see a lot of frames that you can use and just choose the one that suits your needs. Then you duplicate the frame into three parts that you can place side by side on the page we created earlier. If you want to change the initial page with a certain photo like on a website that has a large photo at the top then you can add one more page at the top by pressing the button on the left and add the page at the top itself. Then you just add photos and text that you need, for example I added a photo above, and I set the page to look attractive and I added writing.
Then we return to the recent listing page and you duplicate this page and we make testimonials from clients. After you duplicate you only need to change the words and you just change it according to the niche you are working on. Then we add a new page containing offers from your template buyers, but the picture in the example above is not very clear what the offer is, but we assume it's an ebook containing various houses for sale and their prices and descriptions. So we first add a new page by clicking the button on the left and then we will adjust the size because it doesn't seem too big in size. Add some required elements such as writing containing promotions or various other information and also a screenshot of the ebook that you created. So for today's tutorial I added an ebook that is in Canva so it's just an example. If you want to make a good ebook already I will discuss how to make it in this video. In the middle add a button by clicking on the element menu and just type in the shape and choose the desired shape and I choose the same shape as the one in the Etsy shop with a rectangular shape, then you add the text in the form of get copy here. Then click on the text and in the upper right corner a button like this paper clip will appear. Then you just click the button and a column will appear that you can fill in with the PDF or ebook download link that you created earlier. Then add your client's social media needs like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and so on. You click on the Elements menu and you search for every element you need earlier, we just start with Instagram. And just type in the search field and the Instagram logo will appear and you can use it for the design you made, then repeat this step until all the social media you need was in the design you made. Now we add a new page. Then you just need to add the last element in the form of a photo from your client's social media in the same way as adding the frame that we made at the beginning of the video. Now if we see there are some elements that don't fit the design I want to make like this element. As well as several other elements that come from the template we chose earlier. So we can just delete it but if you think it matches the design you made then it is not a problem and you can just leave it. Then you can add some supporting elements such as squares or other elements that support your design to make it better. In the design I made, I added these various elements, but this all depends on your taste and the niche you are working on. After adding various elements that you think are good then we come to the final stage in making this design, which is adding the right colors to your design, and you can use several ways to add the right colors to your design. The first way you can use a website called Color Hunt, and on this website there are lots of combinations that you can use to find the right color for the website you are creating, you just need to look for the popular or latest menu. The second way you can use the color combinations in Canva is by just typing it on the Google Canva wheel and there are color combinations with certain color theories such as monochrome, analogous, triadic and tetradic then please experiment with color combinations and existing theories. The third method is the one I like the most, it involves using the menu style feature in Canva. This menu is typically located to the left of the design area. 
But if this menu doesn't exist then you can search for this menu by clicking the more menu and there must be a menu style that is available. If you click this menu it will move to the left menu of Canva like mine, this menu is very useful for designing anything when you are too lazy to choose colors then you can use this menu because it is very easy for designers like me. You just need to click on an existing color, it will color the design you made, and if you don't like that color you can choose another color and you can also use this menu to use random fonts too. And with this feature you can also enter the color you want to combine and that feature will mix it into a good combination and we just choose from what color combination feature we will use. So you just click on it until you find the right color and I will probably use this color for our tutorial today. There is a preview button click on this to see how it's looking and test out the links. There are options to see what it looks like on other screens too like a tablet or a smartphone, this will automatically resize your design for the different aspect ratios. It's worth checking for any responsiveness issues now okay looking good so far, and that's really how simple to sell the website template that you made. You only need to share the button and click on this template link, and you just copy the link and put it in the PDF that you want to sell on Etsy. The thing you need to explain to the client who bought your template is a tutorial on changing the photos or videos that are in your design and adding the links needed by your clients and how to publish the website that you have created. Next we will discuss methods of publishing a website that you already have and you can explain to your clients. In the top right corner you will see a button that says publish website. You will be given three options here a free domain or use a domain you bought yourself or you can buy a domain on this Canva. Let's choose free here will give you a URL you can edit it like this, in the site's description you can describe your website in 160 characters or less. Create a concise and compelling summary of the page here including a target keyword will help search engines index and rank the page. If you want your own custom domain name you can do that here as well click this, and then purchase domain start searching for available domains, and then claim your domain like this. You'll need to fill in a registration form and then review the settings before proceeding to the payment page it normally takes 24 to 48 hours for the website to go live. If you like this video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons and leave a comment below this video to let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions please drop me a comment below this video to let me know what you would like to see next and what type of videos you want me to create for you, I will be able to respond back to you as soon as possible also be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.